So a little more work with dimensioning or a little practice dimensioning. I'm putting a few things together here. So we're going to start a part and a 2D sketch. We'll put it on the XY plane. And we're going to make three objects. The first one's going to be a center point circle, right in the middle of everything. And then we're going to make a rectangle above it, try to put it on the Y axis. So we'll do a center point rectangle, or what they call a three point center. And we'll go, oh, three point center. I've never done that before. Hold on. Wow. Oh, so then you get to go over, and then you get to go down. Oh, look at that. So I just tried something new. See, you learn. Still put the center here. I still got a rectangle. Just for the record, I just did three point center as opposed to two point center. My bad. But you can see the effect is the same. So, and let's put, all right, we're going to go nuts here. We're going to put an octagon down here. Do you remember how to get to polygon? Yeah, it's hidden under rectangle because it's not a rectangle. Well, a rectangle is a polygon, but not all polygons are rectangles. It's a, yeah, it's a group theory thing. But if we go to a polygon, octagon, octopus, right? Eight. So we don't want six, we want eight. Bam. We go down here. I'm going to put that on the x, x axis. I'm going to click here and move. I don't care. Anywhere. We'll dimension it later. Boom. There we go. Hit done. So we have three objects. So not only do I want to make them um, certain sizes, I want the distances to between them to be set as well. Oh, pardon me. So we're going to go and make these, let's see, let's put the distances between them first. So we click on dimension, and I want the center of my rectangle and the center of my circle. Notice how it turns white when I get right onto it. I click there. And I come over and I click on the dimension. Here, let me point something out. Let me hit escape for a second. Let's say things don't go well. Let's say I go to dimension and I click on this. And for some reason, I click on this. And well, I guess it would still be okay, wouldn't it? All right, but if you have a wrong, if you're not sure, like if you click and you get the wrong dimension, you can always just hit escape, get out of dimension, go back in and try it again. Uh, my attempt at making a mistake is it failed, which is ironic, I guess, when you think about it. But click on that. And click on that. And we're going to make that, let's put them at 10 inches apart. So I click and I do 10 inches, enter, and it disappears. No, it doesn't. We just have to zoom out. It's far away now. And let's do 12 inches between the circle and the center of the octagon. So we're still in dimension, center of the circle, center of the octagon. We're going to make that 12 inches, one foot. Boom. All right. And I'm not too worried about the octagon being um, oriented a particular way. Um, I'm not even sure if I can. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. So we are going to dimension these. It's interesting the octagon got so large. Anyway, we will now dimension these so that uh, they are better sizes. So for the example, the octagon, we're going to make it, let's see, let's dimension from the center to one of the points. Did I get that? I'm trying to see. This is one of those situations where ah, it's not doing what I want. So I hit escape. I get out of it. I try it again. Dimension. Uh, let's try the center to a point. It's still acting funny, isn't it? It's all right. It's a learning experience. Let's try going from, let's try from the side to the center. I'm not in dimension. <laughs> there we go. I'm back. There we go. Okay, we'll make that. Uh, let's just make that 3.25 inches. Bam. Okay, that makes it a little more reasonable. Now let's dimension our circle. So we'll click on the outer part of the circle, and it will let us dimension the diameter. And let's make that a 5-inch circle, a 4-inch circle. There we go. And let's do the dimensions on the rectangle. So um, we'll click on this side and make it a, eh, let's go 5.5 inches. And we'll do this side at 2.25. Making up numbers because it doesn't matter in this case. So there we go. So now we have positioned them 
certain distances, 12 inches, 10 inches away from each other. So dimensioning works to not only create the shape of the object, but how far away it could be from other parts of your drawing. There we go.